I love the topic of overwhelm because I remember that at the point of meeting this training 11 years ago, I was completely overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed by my lifestyle. I was working really hard and I was playing really hard. I was overwhelmed in the quest to get my life together because no matter what I did, I still experienced sadness. I still occasionally felt life was pointless and um, I just couldn't seem to stop those thoughts and feelings coming up. Even though I was trying to do all the right things, sometimes there it was feeling like my life was pointless even though I knew I had so much to be grateful for. So I was kind of overwhelmed by this kind of never-ending struggle really to try and get my life in order. And it wasn't really until I met this training that I realized that what I was actually overwhelmed by was trying to describe and label my experience and trying to measure my well-being and measure my worth based on the descriptions. And um, so you could say really being introduced to this training is, is just an introduction to the end of living like that, if that's what we really want. If we really want to be free from continually collapsing into a constant commentary and analysis of our life, other people's lives, the world, governments, our parents, our cats, it's, um, that, that's a life of, of overwhelm. And maybe some of us, have, you know, have come up with some amazing strategies to kind of somehow suppress maybe the overwhelm. Maybe we just completely avoid certain experiences or we avoid people or we avoid reading the news or we avoid work, whatever it is. But we know that that game's not it's not going to really get to the root of actually what's going on in our experience, what a human life really is, what it, it's not going to give us our potential. And we know that. I know that when I was avoiding life, it didn't feel good because I, I knew I had more to give. And I knew that I knew that that wasn't a long-term successful strategy. And so it was a real gift actually to experience that overwhelm because then when I met this training and I was given the introduction to, for the first time, the introduction to the nature of my mind, it, it was, it, it, you know, the overwhelm brought me to a point of openness, I guess, openness to try something new. And yeah, I'd exhausted all the other things and I was getting completely tired of continually being in ups and downs and having different relationships in my life that just were constantly challenging, conflicts coming up. Um, so yeah, there was openness there to see, okay, well, what can this teaching deliver? What, what, can, what can I get out of this? I'm going to try it. And uh, it was amazing to be introduced to the nature of my mind. You know, we can do it now. We can stop thinking just for a moment and recognize what remains. The openness, clarity, cognizance, open like sky, our power to know. And for me, what was amazing about that introduction to open intelligence was it was the first time I could actually shift my focus to something else other than the descriptions. And that was amazing. It was amazing to see that there was something at the basis of my experience. Something that was completely open like the sky. Completely relaxed. Always present. Naturally present. Effortlessly present. And once we have the introduction to open intelligence, then we just have this other choice. Instead of emphasizing all the thoughts and the emotions, sensations, all the people, what we like, what we don't like, we can just rest naturally. We can rest body and mind naturally. And so that was 
an incredible moment for me and the invitation is to take short moments of relaxing completely you know just pausing the descriptions for a moment is open intelligence there awareness shining brightly it's there it's impossible to stop it it's impossible not to be aware and so that was amazing with something like overwhelm because to experience overwhelm and to take a short moment it's really powerful because what we come to see is that you know all the, all everything we experience is inseparable from open intelligence like the sky and the color blue it's completely inseparable so there's nothing to there's nothing to get rid of there's nothing to fix anymore everything is the the brightness of our intelligence the dynamic energy the beneficial energy of open intelligence and so overwhelm's amazing because when I d when I emphasize the descriptions around overwhelm I'm so stressed now if I get if I have to do one more thing I'm just going to I'm just going to do nothing like I can't do it it's it's too much uh, you know my body I my shoulders ache you know I'm like <laughs> you know the elaborating on those stories it it just is very <laughs> overwhelming just to take a short moment just to press the reset button and just experience the openness with the overwhelm as the overwhelm it's um it's just pure energy pure energy to be of benefit now that's kind of hilarious no we feel absolutely like we couldn't do one more thing take a short moment wow there's energy there there's actually energy to do what we need to do now i wasted so much time thinking about how stressed I was, you know, working in London, I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed, I'm so stressed, you know, don't call me now, I'm so stressed, you know, going home, I'm so stressed, oh, don't, you know, just, it, it, it's stressful, emphasizing stress, it's exhausting, emphasizing overwhelm, taking a short moment, just, you know, so much energy is available, we're not describing, and um, I found this 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 energy that I once described as stress and overwhelm really amazing I mean I do so much now if someone had told me <laughs> that you know I would be doing what I'm doing now and doing it in ease I wouldn't have believed them because I was so stressed I was just so stressed it was too much for me everything was too much for me and um, it was amazing coming in, you know, into community and sort of taking on extra things, doing service. Amazing. It's so beautiful. What an amazing opportunity to test short moments, to just relax body and mind completely. And, and just, you know, from that relaxed and open space, see what's possible. But, you know, we're never taking extremes. We're never taking extremes in open intelligence. We, we always know also how to take complete care of ourselves and... And that's amazing too. Wow, what a, what a maturing training. You know, we're given everything in our own experience to see the natural shining forth of open intelligence and in everything so that we can just act from a really stable and open place. That is so... Well, I don't know really what I was doing before. I mean, it was like a sort of child in an adult's body just having tantrums, basically. <laughs> and, um, and, and making dramas out of things. And it is funny. But it's sad, too, because when I was doing that, I wasn't available. I wasn't available to other people. I wasn't enjoying contributing. You know, I wasn't seeing what was so beautiful about being asked to do something and, and doing it, you know, just doing it with openness and just, um, yeah, it was so beautiful. And then it's amazing, like, being at the center. And I remember also coming here and thinking, well, you know, I've got too much to do. <laughs> If I come to trainings, it's too much. It's just too much. I, you know, I need to sort of take it easy. And it was amazing for me to see that actually being in the training is training up my capacity to totally be open and relaxed with my life. And that's actually what I want. That's the lifestyle I want. So coming a few hours a day and doing trainings, you know, opening up topics, letting everything be as it is, taking short moments so naturally because all the support is there it's the perfect environment I, I'm so glad I invested in that because what would I have been doing really otherwise <laughs> I would have been
tapping away on my computer, just you know, getting stressed and elaborating and thinking about things, and probably also checking Facebook and doing other things. Um, so yeah, it's amazing the maturity that's come about in my life, and just seeing clearly, what can I do? What do I love to do? Um, you know, can I relax with these scary things that have limited me my whole life? What's my potential? What's possible for me? And um, yeah, short moments are amazing because we don't even need to stress about taking them. We just take them naturally when we remember. And if we're new to the training and we're here in Goa, we can come to open meetings like this and just, just al allow this, <coughs> just this truth of who we are just to sink in and um, affect us, affect us in the most beautiful way where we really get to know ourselves as we are and then from that position of relaxed and open knowing we can really get to know each other and that's another thing I love about being here, the, the openness of just natural communication and really uncontrived love and respect for one another. That, this is a world that I like to live in. This is what I really was looking for. This is what I was really looking for. And when we do feel things are too much, you know, we, we've got so much support to really clarify that. You know, to ask questions in the meeting, to go to the trainings and really open up that topic because we don't want to be a victim. We don't want to be a victim of ever-changing descriptions.